Hey guys, my name is Smithy Dashashex. This is FIFA Friday, Building to Brazil, Episode 5. And welcome. On the day that I'm recording this, it is actually results day. So this is why we've not had that many videos out on the channel this week. Because it is results day, we've been prepping like hell. I've also been getting ready for a weekend away. So I've got the footage for you, but it's not going to have all the crazy ass music and funky editing that it usually does. Just going to commentate over it this week. But good news is I got into university. Woo. So that should be the <laughs> next four years of my life. Well, it's, it's scary, but anyway, let's get on with the commentary. So this is the team I came up against first. What a team name, by the way. A-A-A-A-A. -A 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 -A. I mean, what must have taken you so long to think of that. But he's got a crazy-ass strike force. <laughs> Pacey and Inform Hooper up front. But then, the rest of his team is a bit weird. And nothing happened in the first half. But, um, it wasn't a boring second half, don't worry. Because I got off to the better start in the second half. Putting it away with Jibber of Cisse in the 62nd minute. And then, hit him on the counter attack. Cisse dummies the defender. Leaves him for dead. He tries to trick me by bringing the keeper out. Wasn't having any of it. Smashes it into the back of the net. 2-0. And then I got a penalty, which I duly converted with Michel Bastos. Beautiful penalty. And I was cruising at this point. I was absolutely cruising. But then I shot myself in the foot immediately after I scored that goal by giving the ball away at the free kick. And allowing Wright Phillips to just break through. And I brought my keeper out too far. And that left him with an easy, easy finish there. And then he slips Johnson through. He's on his weaker foot. And he beats Lloris at his near post. Could not believe that. 88th minute goal. I was like, oh crap, please don't come back. And then he did that. So I'd squandered a 3-0 lead. Just like my hometown club, Derby County, did in the Cup. But yeah, I wasn't going to be denied because I dominated this game up until then. Until I just oh, I got so complacent. And then I broke through with Martin. And the tits came out. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. But I had to win. You have to understand that wasn't. I had to win the game after I gave up such a massive lead. I had to go and sweat it out and get the win. So I won the game 4 3 in the end. And this is, if you didn't see it at the start, I entered the Advanced Cup. So this is actually a tournament. So you're going to get one more game than you usually get from a Build Into Brazil episode. You're going to get four if I get all the way to the final. And maybe two if I get knocked out in this round. But I'm not going to give it away just yet. So this is the team that I came up against in the second round of the Advanced Cup. Not the greatest team I've ever seen. I mean, it's not actually that brilliant, to be honest. Even the goal players aren't that good. He's got Barini up front. Uh, that's the 72 version when he's played for Roma. I think the, he's been transferred to Liverpool. So that version is actually 74 overall. But no, he's got the worst version of Barini up front. And it only took me 20 minutes before I made the breakthrough. Nenez gets released down the wing and then he just goes to town on the left back. Step over, cuts outside, cuts back inside with the Ronaldo chop. Finds Remy, starts it home. 1-0. Great work from Menez. I love Menez. Five star skills, good long shot. Uh, great player. And then in the next 20 minutes I miss two one-on-ones with Remy. And then he gets one one-on-one -on -one with Barini and of course he finishes it. So kicking myself a little bit there. And literally five minutes after he scored that, he gave me a reminder of how dangerous he was. Slamming it against the crossbar there with Barini. I mean, it was an even first half if you look at the stats. But I felt that I missed two good chances. And then I get that goal, which was pretty lucky. I don't think I really deserved that as a scrappy goal. I don't really like scoring scrappy goals. But I had to, you have to take them when you're drawing. But then, go and score a better goal here. Menez. Go into town again on his defence. Finds Remy after that shot feint, who slots it home. Great work from Menez again. Showing why five star skills are always so useful. And I win the game 3 1. Moving on to the next game, this guy's got a much better team. Much, much better team. A mixture of Barclays Premier League defence and the French League, I think. I mean, well, he's only got four Barclays Premier League players, and then the rest of the French League and Benzema up front. So, a bit of Sacre Bleu versus Sacre Bleu here. Should be a good game, but he's being really scrubby and playing five at the back. 
But the only advantage of that is if I get an early goal like that, beautiful finesse shot from Benzema there. He's going to find it hard to get back in the game when all his players are uh, in defence. And I get another goal on the 30th minute. Scrappy, but I don't care. If you're going to be a scrub and play five at the back, then you're going to have to accept my scrappy goals. And then beautiful work from Remy. Rounds the keeper. Great composure. 3 0 at half time. He's got, not even had a shot yet. And I was literally. I had him in the bag. But then, not such great work from Louise. Spilt it straight to Benzema. Got a goal in the 55th minute. But that was all I gave him. I was not going to give a three goal lead away again. Won the game 3 1. And that's it. I'm in the final. Let's do this. So, one game left to win. And then I've won the Advanced Cup. 1,900 coin bonus on the line that would be much appreciated this is the team that I came up against if for the final good team random but still somehow has a good chemistry and he's boosted the stats on Ibrahimovic and Schneider he's probably applied pace and shooting cards to them so I was thinking oh no I hope he just doesn't give it to those two and run havoc through my defense because sometimes when you your privilege is powerful enough as it is and you give him like extra pace or shooting he's just going to be an absolute monster and in all honesty I had the so much better the first half only took me 15 minutes to score rounded the keeper slotted at home with Remy that's what you get for bringing out the keeper too far sometimes it will work for you other times it won't nearly had a goal 20 minutes later cut inside of Remy just wide that would have been a beautiful goal that time the bringing the keeper out did work for him but look at the stats at half time 60-40 possession and he's not even had a shot yet I was absolutely dominating him but then a mistake by Fanny I don't know what the hell he was doing there but gifts the ball to Rubinho and Louise keeps it out and it started to get a bit more tense in the second half he started to pile on the pressure from the corner falls to Ibrahimovic great save again by Louise Hopefully he wasn't going to concede any crappy goals like he did earlier in the tournament. And then I get the second goal. Beautiful finish. Top corner. Remy is an absolute monster. And I was so relieved when I scored that. Because that gave me the cushion that I needed. When he was piling on the pressure down the other end. I just managed to go and get the second goal. And then look at that. Great save by Rees. Great save again. He was determined to keep a clean sheet. And then I got the other end. Nice bit of work from Menez, step over and PK there trips me up, penalty kick all day long. It was a good piece of play by Menez and Benzema isn't going to miss there, slams it into that corner. What a penalty though, that was, that was a great penalty. And then 83rd minute, goes and trips me up and it turns out to be rather convincing in the end because it ends up 4-0. Benzema isn't going to go to the same place, smashes it down the middle, 4-0. And I won the Advanced Cup. So, it turned out to be really quite easy in the end, despite that little bit of pressure. It's I think success in FIFA is all about riding out the pressure and then putting away your chances, which I have a problem with finishing sometimes. Sometimes I can't finish my chances. I do miss a lot of chances, but I feel very solid in defence. So, I'm happy with that. I got the coin bonus. And uh, now I'm going to go and spend it. So that bonus would be very useful and I'm going to go and pick up Nilmar I think at the end of this episode I'll get Nilmar. After this game I go and sell my Premier League squad. The reason being the formation is 4-4-1-1 and it's a good team okay. It, all, it is a good team if you look at the players but I find if it's not if the formation doesn't suit me then I can't really play with them and 4-4-1-1 just didn't suit me so I just put, sent them all to the trade pile apart from the Brazilian ones and the French ones which I added to my other squad and uh, put them up for by now as slightly more profit than usual and then you'll see what I do with the money after that I get from them in the next episode because I do get quite a fair amount of money so I'll improve the Brazil squad so there you go I pick up Nilmar hope you've enjoyed the episode guys Remember to like, comment and subscribe and peace.